What's going on guys? Big BP back with another Game Case Arcades video. We got it to work. The Pandora's box has booted. Let's get this done. It's a good time. Alright guys, so we are back on Eugene's control panel. I could finally finish it today. Um, message the company, they gave me a suggestion. Turns out we had the wrong power supply. Uh, basically we had the wrong voltage going through it. I originally had a 12 volt, um, 12 volt to 24 volts. Let me see. I had a 12 volt um, five amp going through this. The company messaged me, they said they suggested that we do a 12 volt uh, three amp. And sure enough, it came in and it boots. It boots perfectly fine. I'm testing it. This is like the 30th time now that I could literally test it using the switch in the back. Again, letting it boot. You said as a quick kind of boot up thing. Before it would cut, as you saw in the last video when it came to the basketball scene right here, it would just cut out. But as of right now, this keeps booting. That means that we can now officially finish this. So Basically what we're gonna do is that we're gonna figure out who's player one, we're gonna figure out player two, we're gonna set all the buttons up. There's gonna be a lot of basically cutting and splicing, and we're gonna get this done today. So now real quick, I figured I could show you what exactly I'm doing. Again, we have spaghetti, a lot of spaghetti, and basically some people are questioning, like Vic, I don't understand how you're gonna make this possible. The ground doesn't have the ground, you know, be always connected to the, the piece that's always running, no. It does not ground is basically like it's external. I'm going to say, I mean, it's not the right way to say it, but ground is ground. It's always connected, whether you actually have power to the actual USB encoder or not. Um, it doesn't make sense. I know, but real quick, I'm going to explain to you what we're doing basically. So right now I have to get into the test uh, mode because again, with the JAMA, you literally have two bundles and they literally give you it's like zip tied. So this is one bundle and we have the second bundle here. Again, with my spaghetti, we're gonna get rid of all this, literally all this wire that you see here is literally gonna be cut. I would say like estimating like right here. Basically it's gonna go right, like the wire's gonna be right here. So there's not much slack and all that. But basically what we did is that I took the ground. The ground on a JAMA system, uh, there's a lot of grounds actually. If you look very carefully and I'll put you overhead, there's like actually like five black wires coming out of the one single ground. So there's like, you know, your regular ground. There's also like a test button ground, a lot of ground. So basically any black wire is ground. So basically what I did is that I took one of the wires. I didn't want to cut this yet. This is the grounds that will daisy chain. But again, with this specific build, we are not needing the daisy chain because it's already here. The ground daisy chain is already here. We just need one ground to connect and basically branch out. So basically what it is, I took a, a, a any ground and I cut it. Took the head off, spliced it, and now what I'm basically gonna do is I'm gonna take this and all I need is one ground. I was gonna do the joystick, um, but he's already got it like kind of electrical taped, which I might clean up. But I'm basically gonna take this and I'm actually going to loop it. This is how I'm gonna do all of them and I'll bring you in closer. But basically I'm gonna loop this about two times, making it really a steady connection, not one time, but again, two time loops. And then basically I'm gonna be putting the plastic cover over it to really kind of lock it in. We don't want the ground to be touching anything else. If your ground is touching, let's say the connector up top, like the normally open or normally close, you're screwed your button will always forever be normally closed or normally open. So you gotta make sure that you're doing it clean. So right now I have my ground connected. I don't need this daisy chain now. This is not needed. Again, I'm literally showing you I have one in. My issue right now is that I have to figure out which of these bundles is player one and player two. So on the Pandora's box, I can literally press a side button that's here, loads up the test thing. This right here is like literally trial and error. Um, I already kind of pre-tried this. Um, I don't really know what this is, but basically again, we have our, I can't tell what this is, player one or player two. Um, basically now what I'm doing is I'm gonna take the ground, any ground. This is like the actual arcade ground, 
and I'm just gonna tap along and see if I can get into the key settings. So that's down. As you can see, I literally have down. I think red was up. Yep, red is up. So again, this ground right now works because I have a daisy chained in, but not really because of that. It really works because it's connected to the Pandora's box. So at least for me to get into test phase, it'll work. Um, if I really quickly, actually, if I try, I'm gonna try it with the button, uh, not with the joystick because I gotta play with that later on. But right now I have to get into the setting to find out if this is player one or player two. I think it was green. Nope, green didn't do it. Um, maybe it's this green. Nope. Orange? Nope. So orange and red is up and down, so I can keep a mental note on that. Yellow, nope. Pink? Nope. It's funny because I literally did this. Blue. So my blue button is letter A, so first button. So I'm gonna go into IO test. My issue right now is I have to figure out what player this is. So right now, if I do the blue again, I'm showing player two. So this bundle right here is player two. So real quick, now that I know that blue is a button, just to show you guys what I mean, what's happening, I'm basically going to slide. Um, I'm gonna do actually on button one real quick, just to do it and it is exposed, I'm gonna hold the blue button against the connector there and I'm gonna press the button. And as you can see, it works. Again, the ground is connected to the Pandora's box. I'm not using this ground set. This one wire is making it work and as you can see, I literally have my ground working. That's how we're making it happen. The daisy chains are all connected and all good. It works perfectly fine. Now though, just a quick note as far as grounds, so I'm talking about grounds. A side note as far as this is that actually player ones and player twos are two separate grounds. So I'm gonna be sure to put one ground to player one side and another ground to player two side. So keep that in mind, you will actually need two separate grounds going to it, meaning we're gonna take the spaghetti out of the six grounds, we're gonna connect actually two of them and cut out the rest. Might as well take you guys overhead again real quick. I will zoom in. And there you have it. The first one right here, that's all the ground. I don't know if you could tell, but there's like five black wires coming out of this. So that is how basically we're gonna separate these blacks and we're just gonna connect two of them really. And again, Pandora's box has the test button. It's either one of these. And that's how we got into test mode. So now real quick, I'll show you guys what I was talking about. As you can see right here on button one, the actual button here, there is no plastic covering here on this. You can see here like this has a plastic covering. This does not. So what I basically did is I took our blue and I held it right against it and then I pushed the button. That's all you gotta do. That is the normally closed or normally open. And just like that, we did it. Take it real quick to the ground. I will be cleaning it up. I just did it real quick to shoot the video, but that is our Pandora's box ground. So again, you wanna make sure that that ground is not touching the top or even the LEDs or else you're gonna blow it. So literally, like I said, that is our ground. We're gonna loop it, as you can see, twice. And I can literally pull this, and as you can see, it ain't going nowhere. All right guys, so basically right now we are separating the spaghetti. This right here is player one separated from all the rest of it. And again, as you can see, there is literally a zip tie holding this and the zip tie is in the perfect spot. Again, we're not gonna use all the spaghetti. We're gonna try to keep it as clean as possible and I'll show you how we're gonna do that. So basically what we're gonna do again, we have our, literally this is the whole harness. So with this, this is only gonna basically control six buttons, the joysticks, player one and the coin. So what we're basically gonna do is, as you can see, I'm gonna follow the base here. I'm gonna follow the base down here. I'm only missing my staple gun to finalize this, but I already have my ground here. So we're gonna keep all these wires nice and tight. We're probably gonna add a little bit of a zip tie here. And then basically I'm gonna run it through here and then split out. So as you can see right now, I don't need more. I could slide this kind of, um, zip tie here which i'd rather do to keep it nice and tight and i won't really need more than this so i'm going to take this right now and i'm literally no bs we are cutting all of it that is it 
Done. See, all this spaghetti literally gone. Goodbye. Now the fun part and the hard part is to figure out which and what each button does. So that's really why we need our test bench IO test to tell what button does what. So now off the bat, I do remember right now you can see I am not in test mode. And again, I will show you guys a couple of these so I don't bore you. Basically again, I know blue, blue was button A. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna be generous with it. We're gonna have a lot of, uh, a lot of wire here. We're gonna get back into test mode. So again, I right now I'm just gonna hold this here and let's get back into test mode. We're in test mode now. And again, just to make sure, yes, we are working on player one. So, I right now the main objective is to be sure that we follow everything correctly. So we're gonna make sure that all of our wires go underneath this set here. And then basically they're gonna disperse out. I'll probably put a staple up here. Um, I'd rather not put anything here because that's where the bar drops. I might put a staple right here. So in all honesty, all of our wiring. And as you can see, I do wanna keep it actually, I might cut a little bit more, but that's the end goal right there is that I want this right here not to go over or past that. So I'm actually gonna slide this underneath our power cord. I'll bring the ground back out. Again, I just want everything clean. I want it clean as possible. I know it's not gonna be perfectly clean, but it doesn't hurt to try. And then again, basically right now, to make things easy, I would rather take the button out. This way I could see it. So look at this. This uh, that's pretty tight as far as the joysticks. Rather do the buttons first, that's pretty easy. So again, literally taking out my button and we're focusing on this. That's what normally is pressed. So literally we're gonna take this here. I hope you can see it. Yeah, you do. And again, we're gonna wrap one. At least try to get two or three good wraps on it. And three, good. If you really wanted to be like perfect, I should have put the blue through this which I might actually do that. Yes, it will take some time, but let's just see real quick if I didn't. No, see, so you don't need it. That's it. That's all we needed, done. This right here, this button is considered done. So again, we pop that in and now you guys can see the screen a little bit. I'll move over. You can see that A button is blinking. I'm basically gonna do the rest now though. I don't know what other ones are. So we're gonna go step by step, nice and easy, and just do one by one and see what it turns on. The cool thing about this at least is that once you do one, I'll know what player two is. So we know already blue is button one and we go down the list. The um, same thing with the joysticks. Again, like I said, we're gonna clean this up and we're basically gonna get rid of all of these kind of uh, electrical tapes. All right guys, so I have the buttons lined up. Everything's good. Now we're up to the joysticks and check it out. I just unelectrical taped Game Room Solutions and they're doing the same technique basically that I'm doing. Taking a wire and then circling it, circling it, and then they just put the clear over it. All right guys, quick update. Took about, not gonna lie, maybe 20 minutes to get everything wired here. Again, we're gonna clean up all this basically, but again, we literally have our roadway splitting. Joysticks are all set. Basically again, this is exactly how it is. We're just gonna probably tie this in a little bit tighter, kind of something like that. But now we are on player two. Player two right now, I have the wire going along the edge. Underneath the pie, it's gonna pop up right into here. Luckily again, we have player one set so I could literally follow all the codings. I redid our IO test. So now if I literally play around with the joystick, everything's there. A, B, C, even our coin and our starts. This apparently the start and the coin are also D-pad selection. I don't know what that means. Um, and basically now if I try to press the buttons here, button B, we're all good here. Now we're up to player two. Okay guys, the time has come. We have finally shaved down our JAMA harness. Everything is wired. We're gonna put everything nice and neat. But real quick, we're gonna power this on. I already had the switch on and we will now be able to close it. Yes, no issues. Hands not being rubbed in. Let's do real quick a couple of gameplay tests. Definitely latch. 
gonna double check. My only worry is to make sure that the pan, the Raspberry Pi fan isn't in effect. But right now I got one latch. I got two latch. We're in Pandora's box. It's not making a noise. I can work this. This is some good stuff right here. How many games are on this? Let's see. 23, 23. That is the lucky number on that. Um, uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I want to figure out how this works is what I want to do. Turn the page. How do I go to the top? Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Wow. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. This is what? Toy Story 2? What? How? <laughs> okay. Let's go now. Okay. Page one. Okay, you could do categories. You have to go all the way to the front. Recent, I didn't play any of these. You could do a search, so let's just see. You know we gotta do it. Oh, what happened? Interesting, you might have to go in. Oh, PSP. So what do I do? Uh, L and R is to switch category? What does that mean? And again, no instructions, left and right, switch category. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. N64, FC, Super Famicom, so FC is Famicom, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, PCE, this has Sega, MAME, PSP. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, so let's do some Street Fighter, so to select, I press OK. Making sure our microphone is on this time. Yes. Okay. This automatically adds a credit. I had this set to credit. Okay. That's what sucks. I did notice that that for some reason this brings up the menu. Okay. Let's. I want to. I want to play. Okay. 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 How do I normally do? I do, I am a lefty on one hand at Hadoukens. Can we do it? Nope. Okay, all right, second try, second try. Interesting, slow ass fireball. What the hell? Okay, so what we always do, of course, with Street Fighter, we test. Two, three, four, five, six, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, good. I really don't like that, what the hell? <laughs> the fireball actually follows me. I never. This is like a different type. So now, if I wanted to exit, oh, this is like super um interesting. I think player two was to bring up the menu, the coin. Player two coin was I had it set to menu. So if I want to exit game, you press B. Okay. Oh, okay. Set one. I want to do regular, set so two. See, all right, let's just see. Okay, so you can't even like load up the... Um, can't even like load up the... I wonder what the coin looks like on this. Like if you were gonna do coin operated, it's set to free play. Okay, so let's see again. Can we do a... Same thing, interesting. I never seen that. A fireball follow me? But again, that's like a different set. I don't know. Let's exit out. Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition. There's a lot. I mean, you got that's the thing about these. There's a bunch of copies. Um Marvel Superheroes. Okay, so now I'm only in MAME. Okay, you do have a nice little looks like a racing game. They probably have a, like I said, no no instructions to this, so I don't even know what this menu means. Rampage, that's that's gotta be classic Rampage, I just saw. At least it is in alphabetical order. Yeah, that's classic Rampage. Three player though, but again, it's only two players on this, that's okay. So, this is PSP. Let's just see what this loads. Let's see how a PSP game loads on this. Okay. I'm not into Tekken. 
I want to... Oh, but a PSP is only one player. I just tried to start... What the hell is happening? I tried to start player two, but PSP is only one player. So let's just see real quick. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. It, it enabled it like online play. Interesting. Okay. All right. So we do have two-player PSP on this. Stage select. Let's go. Well, this is interesting. Somebody said, why did this customer want this instead of the pie? I mean, why have both? As you can see, we are running a PSP game. I'm not into like Tekken, to be honest. But very interesting how they got PSP to actually work with two players. I, I see what they did. They made it enable. See, that's the thing about Tekken is like the other player has to be moving to actually get a hit connected. So let's see, four, four buttons. Yes, Tekken is a four button game, but is it also, no, PSP is also L and R. So that's usually Tekken right there. Okay, I wanna exit now, what do I do? Okay, so player two coin always brings up the menu. WWE All-Stars, let's see, this is, this is interesting stuff right now. This is, um, this is a game changer right now. So exhibition. Can I do 1v1 two players? I press start and then it looks like it's enabling something, see? It's looking for LAN, waiting for client to join. Wow, this is some interesting stuff. Stone Cold Steve Boston, obviously. Let's see. Guys, this is very interesting. I've never seen this before. Okay, so now accept. Okay. Like I said, people in the last video, they were saying, why? Why does this person want a Pandora's box and a Raspberry Pi? I don't ask questions. You guys are the customers, I'll do it. But right now we literally have PSP running. Player two start to enable doubles mode. Wow, I just kind of get this annoying now. I wish that would stop, but very interesting. I've never seen this before. Take it for the gram real quick. I mean, you can see it's, I mean, this is yes, a, uh, a cut scene, but I just want to play. Tips can be turned off in game settings. This game supports double play, but does not support archiving. I'm gonna have to make a video based on this Pandora's 3D now because it's actually mind boggling. Look at this, PSP All-Stars Pandora's box. We have Eugene's control panel. We got the logo up. Let's play. And we're underway. Don't miss this. Okay. Okay, so lag. Off the bat, lag, super lag. I'm gonna have to like compare this to like an actual like the PSP emulator. Oh wow, what a what a move that was. Okay, so again, it, to me it's slow. I don't know if it's gonna be the Pandora's box that's slow. Okay. Interesting. About to get the wife in here to play. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to see if I could pull up a Stone Cold Star because that is lit. Again, like I said, I never played this, but um, I just want to do a Stone Cold Star right now. <laughs> Button mash this right now. Okay. How do I uh, complete this Stone Cold Stun right now? All right, let him up, let him up. <laughs> okay. Oh, I just ran. Okay, no instructions. 
Oh, I don't know what I did. Whoa! Wow! What the heck is happening? I don't even know. I'm, I'm, I'm super right now. I'm pushing all the buttons right now. Interesting. The stun gun. Okay, see, like, that's where you need this manual because we have to figure out how the hell we're doing stuff. But all right, that one is kind of a iffy thing. It is kind of slow. Dragon Ball Z. I'm pretty sure I have some Dragon Ball Z fans. Let's see how this plays. Literally messaging Eugene right now. So new game. See, very difficult to figure out what each button is. I'm guessing this is X. Look at this. This is in Chinese. It's got a save state on it. Enter. Okay. No idea what's happening. <laughs> so this is kind of a downfall. Um, okay. I want to play two players. Though. Whoa, what was that? Save state. Okay, wow. This actually has save states, interesting. Tips can be turned off in game settings. Nah, see this game's not gonna work for me guys, I'm sorry, but. <laughs> I wanted to play it. Okay, there's not too many Mortal Kombat. Let's see how that is. Interesting, I gotta make a video now on this of this Pandora's game. Okay, Mortal Kombat Wireless. Okay, let's do combat. Arcade. I'm gonna press player to start. And then it does this thing. Very interesting. It, it goes into this, this kind of surging. Look at that, it's doing it by itself. Waiting for player to join. Okay, we're in, accept. Wow. Okay, I didn't want to do Scorpion, but screw it. We will do Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Interesting, very interesting. Again, I got want to just see real quick as far as graphics on this. Not too bad. Okay, so now, okay, I could do a move list. I wonder if, it gonna, if it's gonna give me Again, I am not a Mortal Kombat player, I'll be honest. Let's just see real quick. So this is... Interesting, so this does have L and R enabled. Let's just see, can I pull off a... A fatality, I guess? Will it show me how to do a fatality? Backflip kick, now this. See, the only hard thing with this is trying to figure out what button is what. Oh, I just threw that like a Hadouken. <laughs> Legit Hadouken. <laughs> so I could play my, I could switch up the Okay. I don't know what a finisher is though. Not too bad though. I mean, Mortal Kombat, not too bad. Shocking stuff, guys. I'm, I'm going to have to make a legit video on this button. A, I want to exit the game. King of Fighters. I mean, ooh, let's see how this is. Cartoon Hero versus Capcom. That's not it. <laughs> Cartoon. All right, let's see. We got Marvel, uh, Marvel versus Capcom. Uh, not Marvel. This is um. <laughs> that was funny. Wait. <laughs> let's see how a Dreamcast game runs. He literally wrote to me. Ah, look at this. So this is using um, Demuel. Can't do full screen on this. I'm gonna have to do a video, guys. That's that's what's gonna happen next. Is that we're gonna do a Pandora's Box 3D video. Memory card A, press the start button. And literally real quick while this loads, I mean, look at this. 
we took out all this wiring. This is all garbage, clean stuff, all day clean. Okay, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, let's go, let's see. Can we get player two in it, on it, let's see. I know for a fact this game lags on the pie. Brutally lags, I mean, cable is classic. I'm gonna just run around real quick. I know on the on the Raspberry Pi, this game is brutal. I mean, it works, but it's just kind of stutter, stutter, stutter. Let's just see. This right now is, um, let's see. I'm not a fan of the non-stretch screen. Okay, I want to switch the players. I want to do a... I'm gonna probably load up. See, that's the hard thing is, well, I mean, it's not that it's hard. Yeah, okay, so. I'm trying to remember, I mean, classic way it was three buttons up. That's just switches. He used to do some insane fire cannon thing. See, that's like on the arcade, like button one was to be the pistol. I used to spam the shit out of that. So now we gotta figure out how can we do... Oh, there you go. I don't know what I did. I did some big combo, but... This definitely though is playing better uh, than the Pi, to be honest. This is, um, like I said, I want to... Let's do two player real quick. This will be the last game I have to make now a Pandora's Box 3D video because I'm mind blown by this. This stuff is insane. Next up though for me, we're gonna do the pie. I have my image set. I do have my image ready to go. And then we're gonna show you guys that it will work, but I'm gonna have to make a three part video on this. Like I said, on the pie, this game does not run very well. Very cool stuff, very cool. Okay, so real quick, we are playing the computer now. There's something about like the Dreamcast version I just don't like, but I mean, again, they've never been able to emulate Marvel vs. Capcom 2 correctly on main. And don't tell me that they did because I know for a fact that it doesn't. See, if I wanted to now hit them, it's like I gotta press, no, I don't wanna switch, okay. I mean, as you can see, literally we have nothing. Mm, I don't know why to do that. Whoa. Okay, okay. I, 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 you literally saw it before, I did it before. Ruby Heart, nobody likes Ruby Heart. She had a bunch of bullshit. I'm gonna try to, to just get this to enable real quick, but I mean, we're on level four. I wanna throw a fucking Super, that'd be all. If I do a three way super, that'd be awesome. Come on. Okay, bottom three. That's it. The bottom three, no lag on that. 57 hits. Yeah, bottom three. Okay, so bottom three does enable our super. Again, I am on like easy turbo mode. We're switching characters, which I don't want to keep doing. Bring me right. Again, it's a little bit different on, um, can I hit this? Okay, yeah. So again, three on that. Very interesting stuff, guys. Again, we press player two coin. That's how I set the menu. The menu is set to that. We exit out. Listen, the in and outs on this, going in and out is pretty shocking. Um, Super Famicom, oh wow. Are we really gonna try N64? Um, <laughs> let's do it. N64 Goldeneye. <laughs> Let's just see, because I, I know that the N64 on the Pi, can't lie. Um, I know for a fact on the Pi, that part stutters. Okay, so I know this is not going to be a good game to play, but uh, let's just start. I know, like, even with this, like, even the intro on... Pi N64 Goldeneye, it just lags. I'm gonna bump up the microphone volume. Oh, I already have it bumped up. Okay. 
see it with stutter. Shocking. I mean, again, I'm not gonna be able to play this, but. Okay, easy, easy. Okay, we have, oh, there it is, okay, okay. All right, come on, focus. Okay, so shoot and aim. I got bottom, bottom, button four and five. I mean, this really, wow, nobody can hear me. <laughs> Again, this is why N64 games. Oh, okay. Switch it up now. Nope. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. No. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh, see, this is why, like I said, N64 games on an arcade stick. <laughs> you can literally see why that doesn't work. Right in the face. Perfect. Awesome. Like I said I could literally hear there's there's no lag. I mean you do get No, this this to be honest, if this was a controller, that's pretty pretty intense. How many games do we have? We have nine pages. Does this have like Mario 64? Because that would be mind blowing. It does. <laughs> okay, Super Smash. Let's see Super Smash. I have to make a Pandora's Box 3D video. That's it. This is gonna be the last test, and then I have to make its own video. I'm trying to see. I couldn't see what um, emulator it's running. Versus mode. Player two works. Press start. Okay. This would be a good game to test. I mean, amazing, right, technology? Okay. <laughs> so this is like L. I know, I remember L was like block and then R was probably to grab. Come on. Give us like some weapons, drop something. <laughs> oh, again, this is why you can't really do N64. Okay, hello. That'd be great. Done. That's it. I had to make its own video. Big VP Game Case Arcades. I'm gonna play Tony Hawk. 